Yo folks, uh, welcome, uh, we're Spiky Barmy Army, uh, it's the off-season preview show that we're going to do now until the new season starts in the National League, um, this coming August. So, let's check in on everything that's gone on recently. So, well, what a couple of weekends it's been, um, the last couple, and what a season it's been, and um, fantastic, so proud. Um, be uh, support with their amazed stone and stuff so let's get in first of all end of the season then uh, last Saturday lifted the trophy champions and now up into the National League so the player of the season awards it's time so first of all Hakan our manager of the uh, players of the season for him was uh, a number 11, one Luque. Two, the players' player of the year uh, was 18, then our, our wonderful defender, uh, Jerome Binham Williams. And the supporters' player of the year, uh, number four, Joe Elu. Right, the Rockin' and Rains last Saturday presented the champagne to George Elokovi. For his final game last Saturday then before hanging up his boots. A fantastic leader that George has been at the club then. Um, he's had a wonderful career spanning 19 years even playing for uh, Premier League side uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. And here is last week's champion photos. We have four of them up on the screen we're going to put up uh, of the final game day last week against Hampton and Richmond Borough. Come on, the National League uh, Manager of the Month then for April in the Vanarama NLS is Hakan Aretan, our Maidstone Manager. It's time to uh, commemorate if you want, get the brick in the wall at the, uh, the Gallagher Stadium. Um, it's two lines of 16 characters you can get done, that includes uh, punctuation and spaces. Uh, £36.50 in total, I think it's 35 quid plus 150 online fee, bringing to a total £36.50. You can get that done. Go onto the online form either via Twitter or on the uh, the club's website and uh, fill out the form and uh, do the processing from there. That's another brick in the wall. At £36.50 then, two lines, 16 characters on each line and that includes um, punctuation and uh, spaces and yeah get get everything on there and then get it up on the wall at the Gallagher let's take a look at the the, uh, the Janko stand last Saturday then just ahead of kickoff um, all the hard work gone in there from uh, Marshy and everyone that uh, paid in there to help everything uh, all the uh, the red and white uh, the red and white bloody uh, the black and amber uh, cards and everything that went up at the Genco end. Let's have a look at that now then before we move on. And uh, yep, yep, here is the National League Bible then, the team of the season for the Vanarama League, National League South. We'll put that up on screen for you. So three Stones players in that one then. Uh, let's start off then with the goalkeeper. Uh, ben Dudzinski, Oxford City there in goal. Um, in defence then, the centre-back right side. Uh, Kieran Parcell, uh, Chippenham Town. And then the centre-back on the left then, George Harmon, another Oxford City player. Uh, right back, Gus Scott Morris, Hemel Hempstead. And left back is one of our own, Jerome Billen williams of Maidstone. Uh, right side in centre mid, then Josh Ashby, Oxford City. That's the th was that their third player in there already? And then uh, centre mid on the left side, Sam Corn, then a Maidstone. Uh, right mid, uh, Gianni Cridlo Cricklow, uh, Braintree Town, and left mid, another one of Maidstone, the third one, uh, one Luque, our Spanish god, uh, Maidstone. And then the two strikers up front, then Sean Jeffers, St Albans City. And uh, the other one up front, Alfie Rutherford for Dorking Wanderers. And that completes then, that's the Vanarama Non-League Bible NLS Team of the Season. 
just want to put a thanks out there for Joel Powell uh, for all his hard effort and gameplay where he's, since he's been at the club uh, from Charlton under 23s and the same for Heidi Gandor. Both players been in for Maidstone. I think Heidi Gandor's had a second spell with us as well. And right both through to the end of this, this season. And uh, both scored goals all on loan from the Charlton under 23 teams. Uh, great form. Glad to have them at the club. It's been great. And uh, shame we can't have you permanently. Uh, but now they've, they've gone off loan and returned to their club. This week, uh, Joe Elu, our one great uh, majestic uh, defender, number four, he's put his Maidstone United shirt then up for sale, up for auction, and all the proceeds heading off to a charity this week. The bids ended on uh, Thursday night. Um, as of yet, I don't know uh, what the total amount was um, on the, where the charities went to, but hopefully in the near future, maybe next week, we'll find out for you. Uh, also, great news in, uh, Joe Elu, just talking about him, uh, number four, a defender. Um, it's, it's earlier in the season, three months ago, he signed a new one-year extension contract deal with the club. Takes him till the end of uh, next season, uh, the 2022-23 season in the Vanarama National League. He'll be going up against his previous club he was at, at Maidenhead United. Um, also on there was, um, who have we got on there? Uh, Reagan Booty, Sam Corn, I think, re-signed again earlier in the season. Uh, one Luke A, and also our manager, Hakan. Um, so that's the four players, or three players, one manager, that are re-signed earlier in the season and will be with us until the end of next season. Uh, Joe... Joe Illu mentioned that he wants to stay at Maidstone United until he can't retires. He wants to spend the rest of his career now with the club, which is fantastic news. He's 34 now and uh, he loves everything about the club uh, and he's looking forward to playing in the National League Conference next season. Uh, something special then when you've got a player coming out and saying that for our club uh, and Maidstone United family. All, all wonderful stuff then, make sure Fingers crossed they're with us until the end of next season. I uh, just want to wish all the best today. That's Saturday. Um, already kicked off, I guess, now, uh, as it's the afternoon here. Uh, for our ca for captain of the MUFC Community Youth Under-14 team, uh, Liam W. He's representing the Kent Schools in FA in their Under-14 National Finals, along with the Sussex Schools FA. Um, they're playing what used to be the Britannia Stadium um, and now it's the Bet365 Stadium all the way over there at the home of um, Stoke City Football Club. What a fantastic place to be playing at. Not forgetting last thing coming up, uh, everything that's gone on with Maidstone this week. Um, supporters evening in the Spitfire Lounge at the Gallagher Stadium. Um, that's Tuesday the 31st of May. Um, celebrating 10 years since the stadium opened up at home and uh, yeah arrive at 7 p.m. then for a 7.30 start. Right now it's uh, it's time to head into the uh, stats section of the, uh, the off-season preview show now. Right let's have a look at the final placings in, in um, National League North and National League South. And we're also going to show you the top half of the um, National League conference table as it is. Everyone's got one game left to go in there now. And they're all being played uh, tomorrow on Sunday. The final game of the season for everyone. All 3pm kickoffs. Uh, in that one, it's, it's, it's starting then with the National League conference. The title chasing is between two teams. Uh, Stockport County and Wrexham there in Wales, North Wales. So top Stockport at top then, they play, uh, they've got a plus 47 goal difference with uh, 91 points. And in second place then Wrexham, three points behind, 88 points with a plus 48 goal difference. So they're one, one goal difference better off Wrexham, but three points behind. So for Wrexham to take the title tomorrow, they have to win. Um, and then Stockport have to lose, otherwise the title, National League Conference title, and promotion to EFL Football League number two is for Stockport County fans and the squad. 
So yeah, Wrexham are playing at um, Dagenham and Redbridge tomorrow, while Stockport are at home to FC Halifax Town. Uh, playoff places then, National League Conference confirmed is either Stockport or Wrexham, whoever doesn't um, win the title tomorrow. Um, the other ones, Solihull Moors, FC Halifax Town, uh, Notts County, Grimsby Town, then either for the final playoff spot in 7th, um, is Chesterfield or Dagenham and Redbridge. So it'll be an interesting game tomorrow then where uh, Wrexham are playing at Dagenham. <laughs> Everything to play for in that one. So the playoffs then, National League and North are getting to that now this week. Uh, the playoff elimination games went ahead this week then for teams placed between 4th position and 7th position inclusive. So the higher up you are from to 4th, uh, so 4th will play 7th and fifth would be at home to sixth. That's how that works. Right, well, the teams involved then, fifth place then, York City were at home in the week to Chorley Town, who were sixth. That was Wednesday evening. On that one, York were 2 1 winners there at home to Chorley, and they'll go on to the semi finals uh, today, Saturday, and they're playing away at uh, Brackley Town um, in the semi final playoff game um, when Brackley finished second in the table. That's going ahead right now. Right, let's, let's quickly show you then quickly. Uh, York City, they went through over Chorley Town uh, earlier in the week on Wednesday. Uh, let's show you that clip then um, for York, how they went through. Then Thursday evening this week, uh, another playoff elimination game. Uh, Kidderminster Harriers then finished in third in the National Conference. They played at home to Boston United, who finished in that final playoff spot in seventh. Um, and that was a win, well, a win, a 2 1 win then away for Boston United, away at Kiddy Harriers. And the Pilgrims then progressed to the semi final. Uh, that's being played tomorrow, Sunday. Um, away at AFC Fylde up there just outside Blackpool uh, they finished third in the table and 408 Boston United fans then travelled away to Kidderminster Harriers in, in that uh, Wednesday fixed sorry on that Thursday fixture went on to see their team win take a 2-1 victory right and there is the, uh, the, the final tables in the top half of the uh, National League North table And then the bottom half of the National League North. Right now, let's head into the National League South section. Our one um, is the top half of the table. And while we've got the, the top half of the table up, then before we go into the uh, the playoff sections, um, elimination games. For the teams there um, from third, fourth, sorry, to seventh in National League South. Um, let's take a look then at um, the last day of the season then when Chippenham Town went away to the South Coast at Haven and Waterlooville um, on the last day of the season. Haven't had to made had to make sure they didn't lose to stay in seventh and qualify for playoff elimination game. Um, but on the other hand, um, if they lost then Chippenham would take over and get that seventh spot. So let's let's show you then um, what it meant then to Chippenham Town then as they travelled to Haven and Waterlooville. Um, wow. And also how much it meant to their fans as well. 2-0 win then for Chippenham at Haven and they took that final seventh playoff spot out of nowhere kind of thing and haven't finished off in eighth, missing out. Um, yeah, let's show you that clip then um, of how that happened. The two goals um, for Jordan Young then uh, for Chippenham. We'll show you that clip right now.
So that meant that um, Chippenham Town then travelled to Dartford for the um, playoff elimination game that happened um, during the week this week. That was on Thursday. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, we'll just go through on the Wednesday evening game first of all. So the Wednesday night won fifth place in Oxford City. They were at home to Eastbourne Borough, finishing sixth. Um, here's the highlights of that one then through the YouTube channel then Oxford City. Um, there's the highlights of that then where Oxford uh, City beat Eastbourne Borough two goals to nil. And then that meant that Oxford City now go to the Meadowbank Stadium, Dorking Wanderers, who finished second in the table, just behind Maidstone Champions, uh, for a 3pm kickoff today. And there were free coach travel as well for Oxford City fans that were going to the semi-final playoff game then today at uh, Meadowbank down in there in Surrey at Dorking Wanderers. So we're back then to the Chippenham Town one Thursday night away at Dartford. Um, Dartford finishing fourth in the table. Uh, Chippenham 7th and Dartford hosted the Bluebirds in this elimination uh, playoff match. Um, it went 0-0 nil -nil then full time, had extra time for half hour then it's still no goals and then it just went into penalties then, well what, what a game that was for Dartford v Chippenham. So penalties it was then, the first penalties then um, for Dartford and Chippenham, they both had took them and both both penalties were saved. Um, Dartford had their second penalty saved and then with Chippenham uh, scoring their second it started off then it was 1-0 Chippenham after two penalties each. The third penalty then Dartford score uh, and Chippenham miss stays at 1-1 each and then the fourth penalty uh, both teams score then to take it to 2-2 on penalties out of four each and then going into sudden death then on the fifth penalty um, Durajaye then misses for Dartford on the fifth penalty for Dartford. Well, and here's that moment then for Chippenham for out Alif Santos, his fifth penalty, number five taker. And here is that clip, courtesy of uh, Twitter of Chippenham Town. So crazy scenes and as the Bluebirds do it once again, well, can they make it a third time as they travel Sunday then um, to Ebbsfleet United then at the Cufflink Stadium here in Kent for that playoff semi-final match. So the two playoff semi-finals then to see who's going to head into the National League South playoff final. Oxford City away at then today at uh, Dorking Wanderers and then tomorrow Chippenham Town away at Ebbsfleet United. And here is the uh, finishing off then the bottom half of the section of the final table then National League South. So not forgetting, uh, heading back to National League North. Uh, Gateshead, well, like ourselves, the Heed um, champions, National League North. They've got that um, bank holiday Monday uh, with a 2-2 draw away at uh, Chorley Town. Here's their celebrations then after that, um, away at Chorley then, here's a clip on their Twitter um, on Bank Holiday Monday at Chorley then, the Gateshead celebrating.
And then last Saturday, uh, Gates said, same as Maidstone, then lifted the National League North champions. So we're both going to dropped out the league, I think, three, four seasons back out of the National Conference. Gates said, obviously, dropped out. Um, Maidstone were relegated. And then, look, we're both back in, both champions of both our divisions and back playing each other at the same time next season. Looking forward to that one. Yep, so thanks, everyone. Uh, Yeah, so yeah, cool. Thanks everyone for uh, watching, tuning in, and uh, thanks for subbing. And uh, yeah, don't forget to sub subscribe, tell everyone you know. Um, and yeah, we're going to be back, uh, I think, for the next football match. We'll be back on 8th of July. I think it's a Friday evening game. Um, Bill Williams testimonial 50 years in at the club. Um, and it's going to be a cracking game there. Um, Jay Saunders and Stevie Watt back um, with the opponents in charge and I think we've got Peter Taylor and um, Bill Williams in on, on the Maidstone side for that one and uh, yeah, it's going to be a great evening and uh, I'll be back in doing a show highlight clip show for that one um, on July the 8th and then after that we'll be back for pre-season pre and then ready for the National League Conference plus I think towards the end of July sometime next month uh, we'll have all the, the fixtures in uh, list for the National League then for Maidstone and uh, see where we are where we're going who's going to be the first team visiting uh, the Gallagher come beginning of August and our first away day so yeah thanks for tuning in everyone thanks for watching and uh, love you all take care thanks for subbing in and see you soon next week take care peace